I wanted to do a quick introduction video on how to use one of these Wacom uh, writing tablets. And this tablet here, this is what's in the box, is uh, apparently plugged in with a USB wire, though it's Bluetooth. So once it's charged, you can just use Bluetooth and you don't have to use the wire. Um, but it's nice to have in case your desktop doesn't have that functionality. It comes with a pen, two buttons, that's like left and right click. And once you open this and install it, and the installation has this kind of three-step IKEA type instructions or directions, but you have to download the driver, um, answer a few questions, and then you're kind of good to go. And at that point, you can use this pen uh, like a mouse. So right now I'm just kind of swiping over the, the tablet and using it like a mouse. And again, left, left click is the top click. I'm sorry, is the one closest to the, the top of the tip of the pen. And the right click is, is, the, is the one on the right. So um, we'll start with a PowerPoint. And if I'm going to, it's called the draw um, menu. And it may look a little different. This is the Mac version of PowerPoint, but besides the aesthetics and you know, a little bit of the format, it's basically the same for PC versions. And so you can select your pen, your color, you know, you can get right into that action. We'll start with PowerPoint. We'll start with, you know, I teach stats online, so why not just get into the X squared minus beta? Or we could go right into the meat of the material with the smiley face and all that. Um, you've got a highlighter that I'm sure can be used. I don't know what this thing is. Ooh, fancy. Um, and then when you want to get rid of it, you know, you kind of swipe near the element you want to get rid of. If you've got to be careful, let's pop that up, get rid of the highlighting. We'll keep this guy, but we might as well, but we're gonna do it anyway, right? We might as well pop a mustache on him right away. There we go, did it. Get that over with. Okay, now we can move on to Excel. So again, I'm just using my um, little pen here and let's see, what do I do? It's right up here. Double click on that. And we'll create a blank sheet. It's, should, should, we, should we expand this? Let's do it. And we go to draw. And you know, in this side, I could have my, my data sophisticated little data set. Mm -hmm. And then I might want to, as the instructor, say, oh, well, we need to calculate standard deviation. Right? And so on and so forth. You might want to pull out the old normal distribution. It takes some, take some practice. I'm not going to say it's going to be that easy. Right? This is, it's not great. Here you go. You get the mean. Um, and you'll get used to it as, as you go along. I mean, it's, it's good to, to practice a little bit. And of course you can, you can, um, write, you know, larger or smaller, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but it's pretty simple. And again, you, you want to take away the summation signal or this, you can do so. Um, you know, what's cool is that as you go down, that goes with it, so it's not kind of it stays where it should go in the document, which I think is uh, key. That's the same with PowerPoint. If I go to the next slide, it stays there. And uh, if we go to Word, stop here. You know, it's not it's not it's not quite as good as the Podium Smart Board or Smart Ink, where it's just you can write on anything because you do have to, like if I try to write here, I can't do it. I have to go into the drawing tools, right? Um, but the same kind of, where did that thing go? Just, just disappeared, right? Let's square that, alpha squared. Um, and we can also live with another little smiley face. I mean, this is what it's all going to come down to at the end of the day, right? Oh, 
pop a little tie on him, associate dean. Stick stick legs. And there you go. Okay, I think that might be enough to uh, get started using this thing. And again, while you're zooming, you can do this. What's great about Zoom is Zoom has a whiteboard. You click whiteboard while you're zooming, and you can use the pen. That might be the, the best application for this. Um, I don't know about PDFs. I'm sure there's a way. Don't know offhand. But for those three tools, this is how you use this guy. So again, I'm not an expert, but if you have any questions, maybe I can answer. Have fun.